Thank you for coming back to We The People News. Please subscribe, please leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. Yesterday's video, if you did not see it, please go back and watch it. There's a lot of good stuff I don't want you to miss, and I will link it to the end of this video for you. New stimulus package proposal for all Americans. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. But I got a few other things I want to get out first. First of all, and I'm sorry to say this, y'all. First of all, all of our lawmakers suck. And I'm talking Democrats, Republicans, Independents, every one of them. If they're in office right now, they need to go. They need to go in the midterm elections and in the 2024 elections. We need to clean house. Every one of them. A lot of people says, well, this lawmaker is trying to help us. No, that lawmaker is not trying to help us. They're pay playing a game on us. It's a good cop, bad cop game. So they all have to go. Kamala Harris. Did y'all see her little speech when she's in Poland? What the hell? I mean, Camilla, come on. I mean, could you be any more dumber? She was trying to work up a cry. Did y'all notice that all throughout the thing? Every time she starts talking about women, she starts to try to work up this cry, but she never could quite get it out. And did y'all notice her reading from notes? Just like Joe Biden has to read from notes. Yeah, I, I read from notes. They're my own notes that I have to make. But then I'm not the president or the vice president. I read from notes. But did y'all also notice her talking sounded an awful lot like Joe Biden? So, it's the same person writing her speech as the one that writes Joe Biden's speech. I mean, they sounded a lot alike. Petitions. Remember back when the petitions was going around to get a $2,000 stimulus check for everyone? And I kept telling everybody, do not sign that petition. It's garbage. It's just a company that's making a email list. They're going to sell your information and they're using this to do that. And on their YouTube videos, they're making big money on their YouTube videos. And I told y'all petitions don't work. I told y'all not to do it. A petition is only as good as the person it's being sent to. If that person don't even read it, if that person don't give a damn, and we know our lawmakers don't, that petition is nothing but a waste of time. Everybody else was telling you, come on, sign this petition, sign this petition. I was telling you not to do it. Well, they started out saying that they would send it to the president when it got to 2 million views, I mean, signatures. And then they changed it to 3 million signatures. Well, it never made it. But they did get your information. And you wonder where all your junk email comes from. Okay, y'all. They are working on a new stimulus package. Well, I say they. It's a proposal from one of the lawmakers. Y'all, I'm going to have to tell you how this stimulus package thing works. Someone comes up with a good idea. Okay, let's give a stimulus check to everyone. Let's give a raise to everyone. I'm going to write that down. That's a proposal. Anybody can make a proposal. Proposals are just like petitions. They're only as good as the people that's bringing them to the floor for a vote. Once they get this proposal made and they submit it, Nancy Pelosi has to bring it to the floor for a vote. And then if she brings it to the floor for a vote and it passes, then it goes over to the Senate Chuck Schumer has to bring it to the floor for a vote. If he does that and it passes, then it goes to the president. But let me tell you, anything that don't have the Green New Deal in it will not be brought up for a vote. 
I mean, Democrats control the House and the Senate, and they want Joe Biden's Green New Deal. So all these proposals that we're hearing about is just a waste of time. They're garbage. They will not be passed by Democrats. So, no matter what you hear on YouTube or see in thumbnails on YouTube, a forced stimulus check is not even being discussed right now. A raise for Social Security is not being discussed right now. So those thumbnails are lies. Please don't click on those thumbnails and help those people get paid. When I have something to say about a stimulus check or a raise, I always put a question mark behind it. I'm not telling you we're going to get them. It's a question mark. We're talking about it. Y'all, I'm, I'm telling you in every video that I have a chance to that we will not be getting a forced stimulus check or a raise for Social Security until much later if we get it then. So just be careful what you believe that you see on YouTube. Just because it's on YouTube, that don't make it real. Here is something. This should scare you to death. Imagine just for a minute, if you will, the United States is pulled into full-blown war against Russia or China or anyone. Hell, anyone. It don't matter who it is. If we are pulled into a full-fledged war and our leaders for that war is Little Joe or Camel Toe Harris, if those are our leaders to take us through a war, I'm telling you the truth, we are in a world of trouble. And by us aiding Ukraine as much as we're doing it, I think we will be pulled into that war. Now, y'all, I'm not saying we should not be helping the Ukraine. Them people are going through a living hell. They need all the help they can get, but at what cost? Do we want to be in a war that has nothing to do with us? <clears throat> the bill to fund the government has passed the House. Now the Senate has to pass it before it goes to little Joe. So he can get his box of crayons out and scribble his name on the bill. And it does look like it will pass because they're all Democrats. I mean, Chuck Schumer will pass it. This bill to fund the government was 2,741 pages of text. Nancy Pelosi gave the members of, of the House 10 minutes to read it and understand it. 2,741 pages. 10 minutes. Talk about the Evelyn Wood speed reading course. I mean, I don't even think Evelyn Wood could read that fast. So whose fault is this that this bill got passed in such a way that nobody read it, nobody knows what's in it? Whose fault is this? Is it Nancy Pelosi's or is it the members of the House for not demanding time to read and understand it? So God only knows what's in this bill. Nancy Pelosi probably snuck everything she can into this bill. This kind of BS is why I'm telling you, they all must go. They said this bill had to be done as fast as possible because Ukraine needs help. Yeah, Ukraine does need help, but what about the American people? Damn it, we need help too. We should come first. Ukraine should be second. We should be first. Charity starts at home. That's our tax money you're sending over there. So help the American people first. Now they say that they will be voting on more money for food programs here at home. But again, other countries come first. This is our money. But it goes to other countries before it ever comes to us. 
the American people should be first in line every time. Y'all, it's crazy the way they spend our money. They think it's an endless checkbook for them and their wants. Well, that money is for the American people's needs. Y'all, please comment below. Let me know what you think about all this garbage that we're going through right now at the hands of our lawmakers. And please, don't forget, we got to vote them all out. We can't say, oh, I like this one. I don't want to vote him out. They have to all go. And this will set a good, strong example to the new people coming in that we're not going to stand for their bullshit anymore. We're taking our country back. We have to get rid of all of them. And it may hurt to get rid of some of them, but they all have to go, every last one of them. Y'all, please say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our leaders. Say a prayer for everyone that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. Just know I love you all. Until next time, ciao.